Hi there, this is Hadi Dayek from Lebanon and welcome to my video tutorial in week 5 to my second video tutorial in week 5 in the Coursera course an introduction to interactive programming using Python. In this video tutorial we are going to explore how to invert a dictionary or how to flip keys with values. To do that we have created a dictionary named to age. This dictionary contains names as keys and ages as values. So Sam is 14, Celine is 16, etc. And we have also created another another empty dictionary named age to name. So this is the dictionary we are going to have at the end. We are keeping track of the dictionaries by printing them so we can print that name to age is this dictionary and age to name is an empty list is an empty dictionary F to do that we can use for loops for each name in name to age so for each key in name to age we're going to extra extract the age associated with that key. So age is equal to name to age with the key. You can say that the key is an index. And here our key is actually name, the variable name that we've created in the for loop. After that we are going to add new values to age to name. So age to name with the key age is, is associated with the value name. Let's test our code. Oops. Why did our dictionary shrink, shrink in size? Well, that happened because we have many values that are the same, many keys that are the same. Dictionaries doesn't allow us to give a to give um, more than one value and one key and the same value. So here we have Sam is 14, Julia is 14 as well, Celine is 16, Robert is 16, and Kevin is 16. So that doesn't work. The last gets co uh, implemented. To avoid that, we have to do checks. If age is not a key in age to name, so if not age in age to name, notice that age was, a, was assigned here in the for loop. If it's not then add it as a key with name being a list of a single element. So we're going to deal with lists here. H to name with the key H is equal to a list containing one single element name. But if H is already a key in H to name, so else append the name to the list of names associated with age. If age is already a key in age to name, this means that it has already a list created here. Unless it would it wouldn't get to the else statement. So we're going to get that list, that initial list that we've created here. So age to name with the key age, this gives us a list. So we're going to append the value name in it. Testing our code, actually our code works and it gives us a dictionary with the ages being the keys and lists of names are the values. Thanks for watching. See you in a new video tutorial. Goodbye.